Good morning. Welcome to my show. And what I want to touch on today is the folks, the workers of Tesla are now speaking out. Yeah, and what they're saying is that they're tired of this after this mass shooting. They say they're tired of what's going on. They said, what are they supposed to do now? Every time they see a Caucasian person, should they look them up and down to make sure they're not the next shooter? I mean, people are really frightened out here now, man, you know. And uh, they have a reason to be frightened because you don't know who the next shooter is. So, I mean, in a way, I can't blame the folks for being a little frightened. You know, I've seen, uh, seen a bunch of people from Tesla speaking out about different things about this mass shooting. They say after it's over, now they say, what happens now? How do we live in this community without being a little worried, a little concerned? And I mean, I actually understand where they're coming from because like they said, they grew up in that community. So they said they need to have tougher, you know, laws, stiffer penalties. This is what the people said when they were speaking out on this situation. But um, yeah, people are scared out here now, man. They're frightened. They're really frightened. Because you don't know who the next shooter is. I mean, me, myself, and I. <laughs> like, when I go into these places now, I just look around. I keep my eyes open. I keep my ears listening. Yes. You just got to be vigilant and see what's going on around you at all times. I mean, you can't walk around in fear, but just stay vigilant so you'll know exactly what's going on around you. You know? And you can only, you know, that's all we can do, you know, you know, and make sure you stay prayed up, you know, keep God and his angels protection around you. That's one thing. Yeah. Ask God to keep his angels around you. Yes, sir. But yeah, the workers of Tesla, they really were speaking out this morning, man. They was, you know. They were just telling it like it was, man, because, like they said, they're not going to walk around in fear. You know, people was talking about packing up, you know, putting it, put, keeping it on them, you know, <laughs> because you just don't know. You just don't know. You could walk into a place and somebody get the banging, man, you know. <laughs> That's why I say just beware, keep your eyes open. And keep your ears listening. And most of all, keep God on your side. Because he's going to be your daily protection. Yes, he's going to be your daily protection. He's going to lead you, guide you, and show you what's going on around you. When all else fails, He'll be there for you. <laughs> yeah, man, like I said, these people are speaking out, man. People are getting tired of this foolishness. They are tired of the foolishness. And they are tired of people blaming it on mental health. This is what they're saying. They're tired of people blaming it on mental health. You know, every time somebody go ahead and do a mass shooting, they want to say, oh, he was half crazy. He was this, he was that. He had a mental issue. Yeah. But see, they don't want to hear that when it's a melanated person. They don't want to hear none of that. You know. But like I said before, the system wasn't set up for us to win. The system was set up for us to fail, period, point blank. I hope y'all hear me. It wasn't set up for us. Hmm. Yeah, man. I just wanted to touch on that this morning. 
you know, like I said, I'm a boss for my people. And I'm going to keep letting y'all know what's going on out there. So if y'all like this content, slip something in my box. Let me know how you feel about it. Stay tuned.